Please pause this video and answer the question before continuing. In this question, we want to determine whether angle W is greater than angle X. Now, one of the first things we should recognize is that the two statements do not provide any information about angles. Instead, they provide information about the lengths of certain sides of the given triangle. This suggests that we might need to apply this rule that says the length of the sides of a triangle correspond to their opposite angles. Since this rule clearly shows the relationship between the lengths and the angles in a triangle, it will allow us to take our target question and rewrite it. So let's take the side opposite angle W and make it blue, and then we'll take the side opposite angle X and make it yellow. Since the lengths of these two colored sides correspond to angles W and X, we can take the target question, is angle W greater than angle X, and rewrite it as, is side PR, the blue side, longer than side PQ, the yellow side? At this point, we're ready to examine the two statements. Statement 1 tells us that the length of PQ, the yellow side, is 6. So we can add this to our diagram. Now does this provide enough information to determine whether or not the blue side is longer than the yellow side? No. Notice that we can decrease or increase the length of the blue side while still maintaining a length of 6 for the yellow side. As such, statement 1 is not sufficient. Now on to statement 2. Here we are told that side QR has length 3, so we can add this to our diagram. Now does this provide enough information to answer our new target question? No. We should be able to see that side QR having length 3 does not affect whether or not the blue side is longer than the yellow side. As such, statement 2 is not sufficient. Now on to both statements combined. If we know that side PQ has length 6 and side QR has length 3, do we then have enough information to answer the new target question? Well, since we now know two lengths of this triangle, we can apply this rule that tells us the range of possible lengths for the third side. When we apply this rule, we can see that the length of side PR, the blue side, must be greater than 3, but less than 9. So the blue side could be longer than the yellow side, but it could also be shorter than the yellow side. Since we cannot answer the target question with certainty, statements 1 and 2 combined are not sufficient, which means that the answer here is E.